and I just got off the phone with the insurance company because they want us to do a coherency test to make sure you guys aren't nuts. About a day into the Spartan death race, and us wackos left are chugging along, battling aches, pains, and a billion little annoyances. Nobody should be sitting while doing this. I've got like 12 psychological tricks up my sleeve that break people. And one of them, I'll tell you, is giving you seemingly ridiculous tasks that are monotonous and hard. Oh, you mean like ordering us to move two giant rocks without damaging your lawn? As a participant, you're sitting there and saying, why the f am I doing this? This is stupid, right? That's the trick. No markings in the yard. Do not let more of it occur, and I'll accept that Mr. Lowe is going to make the grass grow. Or how about making us go all Paul Bunyan on this mountain? A tip from a seasoned death racer. Look busy without actually being busy. Noted. But no matter how good of a faker you are, when you're caught, and you will be caught, the punishment is crushing. As the death race grinds on, you find yourself moving in slow motion. And this becomes a mental drain when you've convinced yourself that you did all you could to prepare for the unpreparable. Leading up to the race, I did what I thought made sense. I trained my ass off and even turned my home office into a home gym. I got tips from a pro lumberjack. As soon as you stand up, that's when the axe comes down. I studied up on Boy Scout 101s, knots and fire making, and even right up until the last minute, I obsessed about packing and repacking. So how do you stay first? And then I checked everything 50 times. Trying to sharpen his axe. But looking back, none of that mattered. The death race is less about what you carry or how fit you are, and more about how well you stay hydrated and finding ways to remain positive. And that sucks for me because my supply of positivity ran out right about here, which is about the same time my water supply ran out. Which didn't particularly set me up well for the next challenge. 3,000 burpees. Collectively last night, I think that there was a really dark time for a lot of racers. I was just really dehydrated and I kind of was trying to take some time and then jump back in. But uh, I got really cold and uh, the medic saw me, she came over and talked to me and uh, she made the choice to pull me. So while more than 20 racers are attempting a 12 hour barbed wire crawl to set a Guinness World Record, here's what I'm doing. But when it comes to the death race, even when you're out, you're still fair game. Dude, what the fuck? We gotta do burpees. Let's go. Burpees. You got a thousand to go. Let's go. Yeah, you scared the shit. <laughs> I lasted around 27 hours, give or take. Let's take it out. But I know I lost. I knew from the minute I signed up that I would be out of my league. And I certainly was. Look at this dude. He's racked up 60 adventure or endurance races in the past two years. Unsurprisingly, he set the record. Hey mom, this is Eric. I'm gonna be in the Guinness World Records. <laughs> There's also Nelson, a returning death racer who competed on a broken foot. And Amy, a mother of two, who at times single-handedly kept group morale afloat. We're only as strong as our weakest person, so we all gotta work together. When Amy, who could be arguably the toughest human being mm -hmm. on the planet, started looking pretty ragged and all participants out there look terrible i thought uh, we would have to kill them to to get them to stop luckily for the 12 that finished that didn't have to happen that's not to say they didn't suffer for the entire 60 plus hours to achieve victory who are we disappointed with in the race hollywood ah <laughs> oh, thanks joe but i'm not disappointed and the reason why connects to something you said to me on the mountain you get to do this I am one of the lucky ones who got to experience the extreme highs and lows of the death race. And with any luck, I'll be back to experience it again. Do you want to get in the barbed wire? Well, I think I'll pass this, this round. This is one. <laughs>